What's up, YouTube? It's been a long time since I put out a video, but, uh, you know, this is Mitch with Graveyard Prospecting. Uh, I don't work, I don't dig up graveyards, but I do work the graveyard shift. So I give up sleep to come out prospecting. Anyways, it's summertime, and I'm the fat otter now. I'm in the water, sniping away. I've been at this spot three times, or this is my third time. Each time I've gotten over half a gram. I'll show you guys those pictures, uh, and then we'll see what we get today. So let's get back at it. Did you miss me? I missed you. Check out this water dog just chilling. There he is. A lot of people think these are salamanders. They're actually rough skin newts. You can handle them and all that stuff, but if you eat one, you'll die. Let's see if he, let's see if I can grab him. Usually they're calm. Got him, hey guy. See? A rough newt, a rough skin newt. You can tell by their underbelly. Whoop. Hey guy. Their underbelly. They can bite, it doesn't hurt. They, uh, are a favorite of my daughter's to catch. And they will eat your worms if you use worm as bait. Hey guys, say hi to the camera. Hi camera. Hey everybody on YouTube. Let's put them back. <sighs> Those are hardy animals. You don't have to worry about hurting them. Whew, just found another piece, folks. Found my first piece of gold of the day. Um, so I'll give you a little less on a bedrock. Here we go. So this bedrock, super smooth. And you're gonna look in there and you see all these shelves, but underneath that's all smooth, and you're gonna be like, check those potholes, those boil holes. Well, since this bedrock is so slick, it doesn't hold a lot of gold. So you gotta do find spots where there's lots of overburden and that packs things down into those boil holes so like up there it's on some heavy rocks and stuff but it ain't holding gold let's go get this oh look at a little fish around there they're loving the mucky oh. mess i made but let's go find that gold first piece of gold of the day uh let's get it Oh, 
I like to rile up the under, uh, the overburden, all of the uh, lighter stuff will float out. out. So you're just left with sand. I forgot to put my snorkel in my mouth. Okay, so we're getting into some. Okay, so I'm getting into some hard pack stuff that looks like it's been packed for a while because it's turning orange. That tells me that this rock right here hasn't been moved in a long time and I think there's more gold right here
Oh my gosh, what a good day. It was actually so warm, I had to open up my uh, suit and let the water in because I was dying, uh, burning up in my suit. So seven mil, not this time of year. Anyhow, blah, blah, blah. let's get a, let's get, let's do a snuffer dump and see what we got. All right. Oh, Sinkers out of here. Get back in my snuffer bottle. Now, Let's see if I can. Hold on. Wait for it. Do a little pan back. Oh, there's some gold. There's a nice fat flake. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh. Let's tap this back up. All right. There she be. Bunch of beautiful gold. I got a picker right here. Whoop. Fell off and was making noise. There we go. That's a nice chunk of gold. Whew! Haven't gotten one like that in a while. Plus uh, a couple of those. A little, oh, looks like a little seed. Blink. Uh, pretty cool. see how we did today all right so as you watch me do this i'm going to spill gold right out check it out there's a piece right there oh on the old dryer and what? so oh, and somehow okay, a drop of fine. water got on there so I, got I don't know how but there will be correct uh pictures at the end of the video well, half a gram a day Point five three. Oh, we just went down a shrank. All right, so that's three days of going back there. That's a gram and a half, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a gram and a half. Take a look at this beautiful gold once again. There it is. Hey. Thanks for coming along with me, and I uh, hope you all have a great 4th of July, and, uh, you know, be good to each other. <laughs>